Hello everyone, I want to welcome you to Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review and I'm really excited to be here. I hope the Lord has been blessing you in this month of September. Can I pray for you that in this month of September, it will be a month you will be remembered by God in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever your heart desire, the Lord God Almighty will do it according to his riches in glory in the name of Jesus. Our topic today says, don't try to outrun God don't try to outrun God. And this message is so seasoned because there are so many things going on in our generation today. Our generation who doesn't understand the role of God in everything that we do. And there's a need to take caution even as we go in our daily lives. Our text today is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 11. Very profound teachings of God about timing, about the things, how God view the, the way we live our lives. And there's a, there's a great need to even listen to the word of God. The Bible says that the entrance of your word has given light. It has brought light to us. I'm praying that this word we find expression in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I like to read the memory verse from the book of Proverbs chapter 28, verse 20. Proverbs 28, verse 20. The Bible says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh hasty to, to be rich shall not be innocent. Ah, that's a great word and wisdom. He that is hasty to get rich will not be innocent. What the Bible is saying is that when you are too hasty to get riches, you are going to get your hands into some, some dirty things. When I say dirty things, I'm referring to sin. When you are too quick over what you want to get, lies come into play, cheating others come into play, many other things follow. And can I speak to the younger generation? Because, you know, I've seen our generation and even the, you know, the, the Gen Z's and the likes. We are in the generations of everything should happen now. We disregard process. We disregard, you know, gratification that needs to be deferred. We want instant, you know, gratification in everything we do. We want to be real today. A man that has worked for over 40 years for him to acquire the property he has today. You are so ambitious to have that same thing in just your one year of your working experience. And when you begin to, you know, run that way, you are trying to run above God. You know, yesterday, we talked about us committing everything to God's hand. And one of the reasons why I've seen people don't commit things into God's hands is because they feel God is too slow. Gen Z, can I talk to you? You feel like God doesn't understand what you are going through. You think that, oh, he is in the day of John the Baptist, or oh, he is in the day of, of Joshua. God doesn't really know what is happening in our generation. You are a liar. The Bible says he has been there forever and ever and ever. He understands so well. In fact, there is no one that truly understands what you are going through except the same God who knows everything. The Holy Spirit understands everything you are going through. Can I tell you something about time? He said a day before him is like a thousand years. Are you yet a thousand years old? What it means is that there is nobody that I know that has spent a full day with God. Do you understand? So if it's the one that controls time, how much more controlling the affairs of your life? You can never be too fast for God. You can never outrun God. That's the truth. But our steps today is showing in the direction of someone who doesn't want to wait on God to receive anything. In pursuit of success, many of us have made wrong decisions that has put us into trouble. I feel like the Lord shared a very interesting story with us today. He said that there was a time he would know God has put in his heart, he wanted, you know, a paramilitary group. He wanted to head a paramilitary group. And a man came and, you know, duped him into talking him into becoming a group head of, of a paramilitary group. And then soon enough, he discovered that that man was fake, but something was missing. He said he never consulted God before agreeing to do that. It was later on he realizes his mistake and went to beg God and prayed. He said that pursuit of having a paramilitary on Redemption City today, you know, today we have chaplaincy, we even have a police post in the Redemption City. What he had in his mind, he thought he could do it quickly, but God saying, hey, it's not yet my time. I don't want any man to take the glory. I myself will take the glory. What was missing was his inability to consult God at that time. But glory to God, he realizes his mistake and he's sharing with us today. What have you, what decision have you taken that has ended you where you are? Some of the problems some of us are going through is because of our inability, patiently waiting on God. And now we are in the trouble. But you, this is good news. 
All you need to do like that you did is to take a U-turn, go back to God. Ask the Lord for instruction. If you need to forge ahead on this or you need to abandon it so that your life can take a new shape. The Bible makes it clear that God delights in all our well-being and our prosperity according to Psalm, Psalm 35 verse 27. Therefore, it is not wrong to desire wealth, but it will definitely make you prosper. But in his own time, beloved, follow God's timing. Don't outrun him. That is the message for us today. We must follow God to get us to the destination where we are going. Listen to me. Your strength can't deliver it. Your press, your, your education cannot get it done. You need more than that. You need God as a factor in your success in life. When you put God first, you will see that every other thing shall be added according to his word that he told us in the book of Matthew. Trust the Lord. And I see God coming through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Our key point today says, don't try to outrun God so that you will not lose far more than what you have set out to gain. And I pray for you, wherever wrong direction you are currently going, the Lord will bring you back with his arm, strength, arm in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.